that's all to come but uh, this is serious business two great mates two stokies and um, Hamilton leading by three legs to two averaging 101 to Lewis's 99 and it's been a really high standard early on in this match I was watching I sat down and watched them about an hour ago in the practice room Rod for about 20 minutes and they were practicing together on the same board laughing talking you know suggesting to each other what they should go for what doubles they should practice and, you know best of friends best of enemies now yep some players can do that as we see Lewis fill the bed up or better run that's looking a little bit dodgy but it's all counts well, just uh, I liked his composure I liked his coolness then there was no running there was no panicking he strolled nonchalantly up to the ball to take the darts out 41. a brave man yeah, I'd have certainly been run at the board didn't want to lose that but looking at the uh, the odds that Stan, Stan Jones have put up seven to four for Hamilton to win this game if you look at it right now Stu what value that is I would imagine that those odds have changed in the last 15 or 20 minutes 83. Adrian, you require 100. Every leg with throw. 94. This leg looks like following suit. First to 13. Barneveld or Bates in the quarter final for the winner of this match. Yeah, but they won't be worrying about who they're going to play Wanderer. next. Those professionals, they just concentrate on the game they're playing. As Lewis wants double top, that's a good guide for Lewis. He's hit it with his third dart, Stu, but he would have expected the second dart to follow it in. Lewis, a player that likes to put a guide and then use the guide to actually guide the next dart in. But three all, it's like a couple of uh, sparring partners, punch for punch. Oh, both have uh, very, very different uh, styles. And technically, I suppose you could say that uh, if there is a right way to throw a dart, Andy Hamilton has a lovely, steady throw. Yeah, he certainly has. We'd call it in the game very solid. You can see that, the concentrating. And he, he's got a very fast release and a very fast, solid release, so he doesn't actually miss many big numbers. 60. But where Lewis, you see Andy's, you can see that the head didn't move one inch, and that, that's the, the thing that's really important. It's the follow through as well, isn't it? The follow through at the end 95. of the throw, very, very pronounced. Very different from, uh, from Adrian Lewis, but in their own ways, very, very effective. certainly are and Lewis once he get on, gets on a run you know, he, he has got the talent to be a world champion as a lot of players have but it is whether they can keep going consistently Lewis a big 180 hitter when he gets on a rhythm he hits a lot of them but uh, you know just not really been on form of late yeah I agree about Lewis there's no doubt he has the talent to be a world champion the big question mark over Adrian Lewis uh, is mental, you know. Mental frailty in big games has cost him dear in the past. What a lovely dart. Is he going for another one? Well, 17 would be handy here. 92. Um, this for the first break of throw in this second round match. Yeah, and Andy's miles away. Lewis knows he'll have probably six darts at the 40. I hope he's only going to use the one. It's also interesting, Stu, that both of these players have been sparring partner for Phil Taylor. Again, with the third dart. Still a, a sign of a player in form. If you can get it, last chance saloon, which Lewis has done on two or three occasions, and that is the first break of throw of this match noticeably noticeably since 
the break. 134. Hamilton has come out a different player after five legs. He averaged 101 and a half. He's now averaging 91 and a half. Lewis has pushed his figures past three figures. Yeah, certainly some players you know, look forward to a break. Other players don't, especially if you're on a run. And then we see the averages. Lewis is up to over 100. We're just under 100 with that dart. But Hamilton has come down at least 10 points. And what he's got to do, he mustn't let Lewis now get too far in front because I've said on many occasions, Lewis is a great leader. When he gets in front, he really is hard to pull back. Yeah, and that was shown out and how in the uh, traditional pre-match play warm-up tournament on Saturday, the, the Bobby Bourne Players' Championship when Lewis beat Barneveld in the quarter-finals. And 3-1 in sets it was, but... It was a dominant display from Lewis to beat Barney at the weekend. I thought those hats went out in the 1960s, right? Yeah, I thought we were still wearing them, Stu, because I thought they'd come back in... Yeah, I thought we were still back in the 1960s, to be quite honest, Stu. You'd remember that anyway. 4-3 to Lewis. 90. Looks a lot more comfortable. You mentioned early doors. There was no rhythm, no range, but he's he's settled into uh, into this job of work very nicely. Well, John Park is very good at that. If he can't find his throw in the first two or three legs, what he doesn't do is force it and panic. He lets his natural wow, ability that he knows he has five. come to the fore, and this is what these youngsters have got to do. Well, now it does need the bullseye again. They went for treble 14, but uh, great pressure there from Hamilton. He's earned the right to uh, to break back and put us back level. Yep, could be a breaker throw straight away. Here we go, 18 for tops, double top. Important dart this for Andy Hamilton. If he hits this, he probably ends up four all. If he misses it, he's going to be probably five three down. Steps back, big deep breath, good release, good dart. And the eighth leg, Andy Hamilton.